is to take my original GoFiFi pattern, which you can see on the screen now, um, and I'm going to use reflections and rotations to turn this into a particular image. I'm not quite sure what image I want yet. I sort of have the idea of a Tanifa at some point. I'm just going to move this up a little bit to start with. And I'm definitely going to take this piece and reflect it through the mirror line that is here. Um, so what I'll do first is highlight this um, base pattern. And I'll click on the reflect line and I'm gonna and that will reflect it. And I'm going to then So now I've got that reflected. So I've reflected the original piece through the mirror line of the y-axis and I've got this nice looking design here. Now I might actually rotate that whole shape about the point to 0, negative 2 and just see what happens there because because that could be quite interesting so i'm going to highlight the whole piece again actually before i do that i'm going to put in this point which i'm going to use as my point of rotation now i'm going to uh, highlight this piece and I'm going to go up here and choose the rotate about a point I'm going to rotate it about this point and I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees and I'm going to rotate in a clockwise direction and now I have that I actually like that so I'm going to uh, just remove these dot these blue dots So now I've taken the original piece, reflected it, rotated the whole shape through the point 0, negative 2, um, 
And now I'm sort of wondering where I go with this. I, I could re take this and reflect it through this point here. Um, I could just take this piece and rotate it. Um, so I'm just going to play with an idea here at the moment. So I'm going to, I think I will try to reflect um, through he this bottom piece through that line there. Although I sort of like the idea of just taking some elements of this and rotating them. Um, if I took this and rotated it. Um, but let's see what happens first. Okay, I'm going to put in the line y equals 4.3 uh, 4.4, 4.5, and I'm going to now highlight this whole piece here, this segment, uh, and I'm going to now choose reflect through a line and I'm going to reflect it through that line there. And I'm going to undo that because it didn't actually end up doing what I wanted it to do. So I'll undo it. I'm going to pull that down. Let's do that again. So I'll highlight the piece I want to. I'm just going to highlight that piece through there. I'm going to choose to reflect it through that line. Ah, oh, that's better. I think that's what I want. I'm going to take those. I'll actually zoom out a little bit just to see what it looks like. Um, and actually this is giving me something similar to what I want. So let me re remove those dots. And it actually is giving me somewhat of a Tanifar, um situation. And an actual fact, I might, um, I think this would actually end up being the actual design that I want, basic design, then when I export it into, um, Photoshop I can, and do the colorations so I can make some uh, uh, changes here to elements now that I've got this um, this is looking quite interesting actually um, I'm going to remove the axes of symmetry as well um, and just look at the final pattern but it's looking good actually. I can then take it and put it into Photoshop Here we are. Now if I take out these two, those lines, and if I take out the screen, the that's actually giving me somewhat 
what I want. Now I could take this piece and rotate that 45 degrees and that 45 degrees. I could try that. But that's a pretty good design there. Now the one thing I can do here though is now put in a circle here to give me the eyes and I can now um, there'll be dots there and I could actually copy and paste that probably so if I now take out that that'll allow me to um, And I can then do the same over here so that when I color this in and I can do the same, I can put a line going across here and here and that could give me the tongue structure for the tanifa. So let's see, um, I'll put in the other circle first, right here. And I'll just take that out, and that, that out, and that out. And I'll take the label out there. Right. Um, and then I could do the same down here, actually, um, as well. But actually, I could do... Right, let's do that. Um, so if I use... Go here, and I'll use this semicircular arc, and I could uh, just put a piece going through here like so, um, and I can remove those labels and I can move. and then I can do the same on the other side. And I can remove those labels. And this is looking fairly much like the structure that I want. Now the other thing that I could do here is to um, So that's looking pretty good actually. I could take out these lines that are now running through the middle here by going down to up to lines or down to lines or segments then there. Um and that's giving me the basic shape of what I want. Now what happens if I would, so if I took a point here and rotated this piece around that point, and the same on the other side, let's just try that and see what happens. Right, so there's my basic design, and I can reflect that and rotate that. So let's just try this thing that I was talking about. Um, right, okay, I'm going to put in a point. Uh, right. I could put it right there actually, and another one right there. 
Now I can go and highlight just this piece from here. To there, and I could go and select rotate about a point, and I could rotate it. I'm not going to rotate 180 degrees, maybe 30 degrees uh, clockwise. No, I think that's just going to spoil it, so I'm going to undo that. And I'm just going to leave it like that I'm going to take this um, I'm going to take these other points that got put in there out and I'm just going to leave it like that and that's going to be my basic design and then I'm going to take this I'm going to copy this onto the graphic and graphics view to clipboard and then I'm going to open up While I'm waiting for that to open, I'm actually going to save this GeoGebra so I don't lose it. So I'll just um, click off that. I'll save this as um, code five five root reflect, and then I'm going to just minimize that and go to this. I'm going to go open new and put that in, and now I'm going to paste in. So edit paste special, paste in place, and here's my design. Now I'm going to use the um, Photoshop tools to try and um, color this in. So I'm going to first of all use the paint. I'm going to paint that and that. I'm going to uh, paint here. Oops, undo. We'll do it and do paint bucket. So what happened there? And here. Oh, and then I'm going to um, actually I'm going to undo that. I'm going to paint that white like it was. Um, and I'm going to use this. I'm going to paint here and here and here. Um, and the one below here, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to then paint the outside of it black. And there's my basic um, Kofi-Fi design. I'm now going to um, save this. I'm going to um, save it as a JPEG and I'm going to call this Cova Fi Fi Root Reflect. Save that to the desktop. And then I can um, quit Photoshop. And now I can go back to GeoGebra and I can open a new window. And this time I can go up to Import. 
image file and I can import my Kofifi pattern I can reduce the size of it I'm just going to um, I'll, I'm going to put the grid in and I'm going to move this over there um, so I'm just going to take it up one I think and I'll just move it up like so and then I think I will just reflect it through this line yeah I'll just reflect it and maybe a, a couple of times actually so I'll put in the line y x equals 0 and then I'll um, click on this this and this um, and then I can um, just reflect through the line x equals 4.9 Uh, 4.85 yep um, and I'll again reflect this piece through that and I'll do one one more I could rotate that I could rotate the whole thing I suppose could rotate the whole thing 1880 so I can highlight the whole thing I can go and rotate um, and I can choose to rotate it 180 degrees and now I have that I suppose I could now move that whole thing up okay so I can get I probably can get rid of that so if I take my point that I put in here as my center of rotation and put it right on there now if I highlight everything that's here I'll go rotate through that point there 180 degrees there we are um, and I can take this back into um, Photoshop and and tidy it up if I wish which I, I will do and that, and then I'll take a sc screenshot of this I will actually just get rid of these um, points while I'm at it. Now I'll highlight it. I'll take this back to Photoshop one last time uh, and tidy up and then I'm done. edit place in place
and now I can use the paint uh, brush just to tidy up these things here like that, get rid of those white lines um, and that's looking pretty good there and so I'll save that as curve phi phi final two um, I'm going to shave it as a JPEG, um, save, and that's that done.